eliminate porosity of cast ingot in fabricating wrought mill forms and to form discrete parts to near net shape from these wrought mill forms further refining microstructure and directional grain flow. Because of these effects on microstructure and grain flow, the mechanical performance of wrought mill forms and parts is typically superior to that of cast metals. Open die forging is performed on ingot, billet, bar, or a preform, and is the deformation of a workpiece between flat or shaped dies without completely restricting metal flow. This deformation can result in lengthening of the workpiece while reducing its cross-section, upsetting regions along the length to greater sizes than adjacent regions, or bulging the workpiece's cross-section while reducing its length. Lengthening and upsetting are typically done using multiple impacts as the workpiece is incrementally advanced lengthwise and rotated about its longitudinal axis. There is essentially no limit to the size of forgings that can be made using open die forging. They can range from a few centimeters to 30 meters in length and weigh from a few to up to several hundred thousand kilograms. Although fairly complex shapes can be made using open die forging, most are rather simple solids or hollows requiring considerable machining to achieve final shape. Forgings are produced using simple flat, V-shaped, or semi-round dies. Various accessory tools are also used, including saddles, blocks, rings, mandrels, and punches. To withstand forging temperatures, abrasion, and impact, dies and accessory tools are usually made of hot work tool steels or medium carbon alloy steels. Impression die forging, also called closed die forging, is the deformation of metal at forging temperature within one or more die impressions or cavities. It is performed both in presses and hammers. Work pieces may be round or rectangular in cross section or flat discs and the dies are sometimes integrally heated to minimize chilling and cooling of the workpiece. For simple shapes, impression die forging can be performed in a single press stroke more often, however, several strokes